I'll teach you more slang. Mumbai slang. Mumbai. Okay, slang. repeat, repeat after me. Rimta ke. Rimta ke. Rimta ke. Rajni, you can also say it. Yeah, Rimta ke. Rimta ke basically means just come very fast. Come very fast. Yeah, Rimta ke aaja. Like you learned kekda. Kekda is how the bike moves from left to right, like a crab. Okay. Literally, a crab in Hindi means kekda. 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 Yeah, that's it. Rimta ke. मुंबई <laughs> <laughs> Oh the oh the taxi like this. Yes. <laughs> On the Bombay journey we've done multiple up. things but we've yeah, never had a team principal yeah. of yeah. <laughs> LCR Honda Castrol drive ride a rickshaw a four stroke. Do, do. This is what we do on the Bombay journey only. Thanks to Castrol. That's yeah. <laughs> the ultimate ride. Let's go. Sala Hello folks, welcome to the Bombay Journey, powered by Castrol Power One. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. How are you? Good, good. Very good. well, very well. We have for the first time a team principal on the Bombay Journey, Mr. Lucio Cecchinello, of the LCR Honda Castrol team. I love that. Uh, I love that you're in Mumbai with us, always taking care of uh, the safety as a team principal. I like that. <laughs> And uh, we have Rajni. Who's eleven time I, winner, national I, road racing champion? What a what a pleasure it is to have you, man. Yeah. Thanks, guys, man. Yeah. Look, if you guys want to know how you can get into the motor racing, how you can get into motorcycle 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 racing, in india as well first time oh awesome and i'm very very excited and i must say that uh, i'm impressed about uh, how much all the people is nice uh, here around and yeah. uh, wonderful uh, welcome and uh, by the way thank you so much for uh, inviting me yes it's a pleasure i'm sitting next to a team principal it's a dream but uh, rajni you keep coming often <laughs> yeah i came a lot of time in mumbai i enjoyed uh, wow what a pow yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> because yes. i have a lot of event here i'll come uh, sometime maybe here at least one or two times 100 person i can come here interesting yeah so dekhiye uh, the thing is that you are wearing the indian flag on your arm i think yes, yeah, that's yeah. a proud moment yeah. <laughs> but we need to talk about where your journeys began from because you were a 7 year old disassembling your father's bike <laughs> yes <laughs> what what kind of passion and what kind of drive is that what how does one go from there to becoming the ultimate champion like you became well um i started to to be passionate about motorcycling motorcycles and motorcycling because of my dad he he loved motorbikes but um in reality i grew up in in italy in an area where uh, You know there is a, a lot of uh, big culture for motorsport and motor racing because I grew up uh, nearby Ducati oh, wow. company in Bologna uh, 25 minutes from a Ferrari company oh, oh, oh. half an hour from a Lamborghini company so it's it's an area where we have a lot of culture for motorsport and then Amazing. I said I want to go racing I want to go racing and then finally I could realize my dream it wasn't easy not at easy at all yeah because i didn't have the money because my parents didn't want but uh, let's say that uh, i finally could realize my dream after not giving up super amazing i love that see it's it's also 20 years since you won the last race you as as an official racer yes it's 2003 so it's, it's kudos to you coming with us and talking to us today yeah i will um, i mean i i i've been racing for 15 years in my True. my racing career 10 years in the world championship i I have uh, made um, quite uh, quite good results. I never get the championship, but uh, I won uh, several races. Yeah, you were on I, the podium multiple times. Yes. Yeah, I've been in the podium about 20 times, and uh, I I finish uh, fourth in the championship. Uh, I was European champion. Uh, 
Italian champion and yes let's say that uh, I I enjoy very much racing and Lovely. then uh, finally I decided to 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 Become stop racing yeah. and uh, to continue my journey with with the team but then you tell me how did your journey start yeah my journey you know the india okay yes. 100% even especially for the in the in the biking culture that's okay? true the biking culture maybe uh, at least now better yeah when you like a uh, 2000 uh, like a uh, 2090s and 2000 2200 not much supporting the no manufacturer a lot of bikes not there anything i mean we didn't know about super bikes until doom yeah. it's a very popular indian <laughs> film you should definitely check it out okay yeah <laughs> yeah Even, uh, and you isn't that right yeah correct because no i am uh, like a uh, born and bought in uh, tamil nadu correct. Uh, yeah i am basically in chennai uh, yes chennai okay Yes, of the course. The Chennai is only first Indian uh, India race track, but that's the, true. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. Okay, because I want to race, I don't know the various I want to go race. Of okay? course, because here no academy, no teaching, nothing like uh, how uh, the. I mean, today we have RACR, which yeah, is your own agency. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people will teaching, no. And uh, so difficult. I find one guy. Then uh, see, basically, I uh, the the family of my background, the the middle family. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't have much money also <laughs> because I'm working. I start the earning some money. Then I buy a bike. Then I went for the racing. Which okay. one was your first bike? Uh, RX 135. Oh super. Yeah, you know the everybody like of the course, RX 135. Of course, of course. India loves the RX 135. Yeah, that time super bike that only. Of course, there, there was only one. <laughs> yeah. Then I slowly I find the uh, India where is the race track then I went to see the race track. Before that I used to it ride in the road only. Oh, yeah? Because no I don't know awareness for the where is the race track where true, how true. to go for the racing. Yeah. Then once I started for the following for the where I need to go for the racing, I went directly. Okay, maybe I want to ride only race. <laughs> Then I started for the my racing career. Yeah. Uh, as a private year, I spend lot of money. Okay, without support, I walk uh, day and night. So spending money to crashing tire, yeah. you know the the you usual know, drill. Usual, you go into training. Okay, you need to spend lot of money. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, without back. Uh, family not supporting even uh, no sponsor also okay then i try to ride some two years uh, and the second year i win the championship kudos uh, third year i get the uh, good support i get uh, something uh, missing because i'm riding again again in india then i started 2006 uh, in uh, i'm moving to riding in international super i started international uh, then uh, there are a lot of difficulty because no even 2006 uh, nothing popular in india because you don't get 1 rupees sponsorship sponsorship no, absolutely okay. nobody sponsors maybe i take a personal loan uh, oh, i damn. sell a uh, my wife jewelry like that <laughs> oh shit <laughs> then i went for malaysia i win the championship in 2006 Uh, did then, they did they start giving you money then um not much see the end of the day the price money is not a big okay the price money is very very less compared yeah. to not one tire cost okay but you need sponsor okay you need without sponsor is very very difficult yes then hardly i find uh, because i don't want to give back okay yeah. because i am continuously winning i am continuously i am going other country i beat other country people also okay i, I have that uh, kind of uh, Uh, talent i'm going to to uh, beat everybody there 100%. but uh, i don't know big support i yeah. am i'm going without uh, training uh, nothing directly go for racing but there uh, maybe you can say like uh, asia yeah. like a uh, japan riders maybe uh, all know is a lot of facilities yeah. these are a lot of track to train and uh, supermoto motocross everything but especially india don't have supermoto So, mo- mo- no motocross bike at all selling here. That's right. No bigger bike selling here. Lot of struggle I went, a lot of crash I done. Uh, all no, uh, my part is uh, still almost twenty years. I complete the championship and in India and international. But always, uh, I'm very proud uh, t- saying uh, I win the three time uh, international title. Super. Uh, not only. Uh, national title i yes. in the three time international title that's true i like your story because um in reality we have uh, similar stories because uh, i tell you the truth 
When uh, I wanted to go racing, I had been 16 years old, but my parents didn't want, so they said to me, impossible, we have, uh, it's too, too risky, we have uh, no money. My father just was a normal employee and, uh, you know, we, we, I, we couldn't afford to, to support me in racing. And they said, uh, no, no, we don't want. Then I insisted, I insisted, and then they said, okay, you will finish your high school. And then when you finish your high school, you can do what you want, but you will never get any, any uh, money from us. So zero support. So I started to um, really um, doing my best to go racing with the just you know, uh, with a very limited amount of money, yeah. Because I, I worked in the summertime in, in bar and also in uh, in uh, workshops, and then I did mechanic uh, mechanical job uh, repairing motorcycle yeah. of my friends, and then or them, and then I could collect some money to buy a motorcycle, a street motorcycle. But with this street motorcycle was a Honda NS125, two strokes. I could go racing, but I didn't have the money to effort to buy the tire, the the, the riding gear, yeah. the, to pay the the, the rent TV. of the truck, the license, the insurance. I, I didn't have uh, I didn't have the money. So, but I had the bike. So I had an idea. That's uh, that's a funny story because uh, I in that mom in that period my girlfriend wanted oh. to buy a motorcycle. So I said to my girlfriend, uh, "Dad." I said, do you, I can, I want to sell my motorbike and maybe your, uh, you can buy for, uh, for your daughter. <laughs> and then he said, yes, uh, uh, how much cost? And then I calculate, uh, I made the calculation, how much money I needed to go racing. And then I asked uh, for some money and then uh, he, he pay me. Then with this money, I sell in the motorcycle with this money, I could buy all the, the yeah. gear and then effort to go racing. Oh, but wow. I didn't have any more the, the bike, yeah. but my girlfriend had my bike. So I said <laughs> yeah. to my girlfriend, can you borrow me the bike to go racing? And then she borrowed me the bike. So yeah. my first ever race, it was uh, exactly like this, bike, you know, yeah. with the, with the, all the stuff, purchases, selling my bike. And then uh, <laughs> I borrowing the bike, borrowing the bike uh, back to my girlfriend. Then my first ever sponsor was my hairdresser. Oh wow! Yes, with a hundred dollar per race. Per race. Oh yeah. lovely! Ah, uh, some of them naiyon ke paas jao aur paise mango bike racing ke liye. Sorry, with a fifty dollar per race because it was oh, hundred thousand wow. milalire. Yes, fifty dollar per race. And you've maintained the hairstyle. Hey, of course. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my story. Oh uh, lovely! All started like this. No kudos to the both of you actually. Thank I you. I think uh, deserves a fist yeah, pump. Yeah. Yeah. It takes a lot. It takes that. That is the kind of ultimate passion you're looking for. Yeah. When, yeah. You're, when you're going into racing, right? Yeah. Tell me about your first race for both of you, all, like a professional first race. Yours was Monza, if I'm right. Pardon? Monza, Monza. Your first Monza, track. Yes, yeah. my, my first race in Monza. Yes. Yes. So can you tell me about that day, and then you can take over and tell about your first big race. Uh, ah, yeah. it was um, very important for me this race. Uh, because uh, we know that uh, I could, uh, I knew that I could win. So I went there the cup, couple of time training. And then while I was training, I, I went there by myself alone, just oh. my, my small old uh, used van and the bike uh, behind. And then uh, I, I remember that I train uh, in this racetrack. And then I also select, uh, I had a couple of uh, cylinders. Wow. Um, and then I select which was the best uh, cylinder and cylinder had the best combination to make the bike uh, faster enough to win the race. Oh, damn. <laughs> and then uh, I remember that uh, thanks to my commitment and my, my uh, let's say, focus on, you know, trying Racing, my yeah. best, preparing this race uh, on that Sunday, I, I could win the race. I remember that uh, I, when I uh, got the checkered flag and I won the race, it was like uh, so emotion, so emotional that I was so happy because I realized my one of my biggest dream ever to yeah. win a motorcycle race. Oh, super. What about you, Rajini? Do you remember that first race, that big race? Yeah, I remember when my first race, I'm very happy because no, when I went for the competition, 
the competition all riders are like very experienced riders okay yes. i am very new but i do lot of uh, maybe kind of some practice everything the setup the bike everything the my first race i finished very happy i am finishing on fourth place oh lovely and uh, i think with all the experienced riders maybe the first year almost me is a landing crow cow only okay. but one year i land and the next year uh, obviously i win the championship self lovely yeah uh, i i saw i saw a man over here just figuring the proximity and the distance between two vehicles in our country yeah did you just see that <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> do you see how close we drive <laughs> yeah yeah that's i wanted to make a a, a video of uh, yes. of this uh, <laughs> traffic <laughs> traffic and motor taxi because i like uh, the the way how is he was uh, riding how you call the the little uh, so i will teach you i will teach you some mumbai slang yeah okay yeah. it's a crab walk crab walk this crab is a crab walk, walk yeah. right yeah, that's how the bike I, went yeah. yeah it it moves like a crab yeah. it doesn't go in a okay. straight line so it's called kekda kekla okay kekla okay. yeah okay ara okay. ara so kekla you need to tell us exactly the kind of speeds these bikes are going at so that they can understand how dangerous it is um top speed of a moto gp the record of the speed has been made by ktm in mugello race track this year 361 kilometers per hour oh, damn 361 that's very fast 362 kilometers per hour uh with um, at the end of the street which means uh 300 kilometers per hour is uh, how like much you're turning on 100 meter per second you know 100 yeah. meter per second, second you know of course can you imagine the the you know the, the the speed and the amount of attention you you must 100%. have you know yeah uh, and the strengths also you must uh, effort you must you must you must apply yeah to break actually the bike on the on the on the at the end of the main straight you know yes and then uh, once you break you have to you know you have to use a lot of energy to to turn the steer, bike yeah of course to steer the bike to turn the bike and uh, you know being able to to ride with the, the g-forces that will come at you also right depending yeah. depending the race track the layout yeah. we do not have uh, very very high g-forces but uh, What is impressive is the 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 amount of the lean angle you you mm. you, you mm. get. So basically, your body is is going to the floor yeah. at uh, over 60 degree angle. You know, at that speed. At, yes. Uh, 200. Not, uh, not at 360, uh, but uh, easily we have corners in Qatar, for example. We have corners uh, where uh, you have to lean uh, very very much. and the uh, corner that you are I over 200, corners, yeah. 220 oh damn 260 km per hour sometimes uh, the top the, the fastest corner speed in the in the uh, in the world circuit yeah oof it's it's is a lot is yeah. a lot let me how is it for a for a rider then for a for the ultimate kind of machine to be able to what what helps you be confident to power that kind of move yeah the especially for the uh, uh, in the riders no yeah. uh, uh, the especially the is walking almost the fitness level is o i okay mm-hmm. is reflecting very very fast okay yeah. because you walk in always in the bike okay is riding the bike continuously and you need your thigh support as well right like your yeah, thigh everything everything that's why you will need make a fitness that kind of fitness you need without yeah. that you cannot uh, ride continuously some 24 lap or uh, 25 lap same pace no true uh, same maybe like a point 0.1 uh, point 0.5 seconds so fine that's only the pace is uh, difference yeah. but still uh, starting with the first lap to the going to end up the race no the almost like a microseconds that's true same thing same pace because that is under person you need a very good fitness okay yeah. without fitness you cannot come and uh, race uh, in the motorbike especially yeah, for the true. competition okay. yeah. so now tell me a sponsor like castrol how does that help a team that you've built and uh, the whole industry in india as a whole castrol is um is is an amazing brand it's very connected with the racing yeah it's uh, incredible because the heritage that the castrol has in racing is 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 uh, is the most uh, uh, premium and the oldest uh, brand uh, lubricant brand in in uh, in racing yeah you can you can easy uh, easily 
uh, go back uh, in time in the Isle of Man races uh, back on the 50s and then uh, you had uh, you can see Castrol uh, lubricant uh, sponsoring uh, uh, many many racers that's true and uh, I feel proud and honored to work with Castrol because I always use a Castrol uh, lubricants when I was racing yeah I remember that uh, I started with Castrol TTS uh, and then also Castrol RC uh, 30 and then also other mo models of Castrol back in time that we were used to use on the two strokes engines and then um, you know Castrol always developed so far uh, the best lubricant uh, ever because uh, at the very end you know it's all a matter of uh, performance and also uh, durability and uh, the lubricant as well play an important role on the engine performance. Mm. Engine performance is very much influenced by the lubricant. Oh, and yeah, of course. Uh, with the formula of uh, Castrol Power One uh, and Castrol Power One Ultimate lubricants, you know, we can clearly feel uh, our engines with uh, having improving the acceleration and improving the, the, the top speed. Yeah. So what I can say is that uh, is amazing the commitment that Castrol uh, is 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 having in developing racing oils and developing, of course, um, the oil for the end users by using the experience made in racing through the years, and uh, that's why Castrol is uh, such a premium brand, and we feel uh, very honored and happy to be Castrol brand ambassador around the world with oh, our lovely. riders. It's amazing. What about you, Rajni? How do you? come back uh, with that because I think you've, you've had a very different journey with Castrol yourself. Yeah, the Castrol supporting almost some four years, uh, the continuously the championship also win and this yeah. year also the championship uh, leading and uh, one of the, the fastest machine in the, in the national championship, our Castrol machine. That's true. And especially for the performance, you know, the performance very, very good uh, once you're using the engine oil, cast oil engine oil okay. and uh, I'm very happy about working with the cast oil uh, because you know the continuously winning uh, the factory team against the factory team <laughs> like a TVS, like a Wanda, you know. Yeah. So the continuously winning the in the private team, I'm very happy with uh, working with the cast oil Lovely. and uh, there are a lot of activities also doing. I'm uh, like academy is supporting. Okay, a lot of youngsters uh, is coming to our academy. Yep. I'm supporting with the uh, with the cast oil brand. I'm I'm very happy with working with uh, Castile last four years. I love that. Castile are good folks who are trying to do something really interesting in our country where anybody who's interested can just sign up, can be somebody who's 18 above, have a license and just go ahead and look up. We'll have a we'll have a link in the description. Castrol Power One presents India's ultimate motor star on MTV. I think that's yeah. gonna be a great platform where anybody who's uh, you know, passionate about motorcycle racing. Who okay. want to race. Yes, can, who want to race. You can come on the intro. That's it. Yeah. And uh, you'll be trained with the RACR, if I'm guessing. Yeah, with the RACR. Oh, uh, lovely. I am there to train also. Oh, lovely. You'll guide you go how to go faster. Oh, amazing. And uh, I think it, there is there is that support that is needed, right? Yeah. You started with one motorcycle when you started uh, the LCR, right? Yes. How was that? Do you remember that day and like what motivated you to do the change? Um, LCR uh, has been settled up uh, by myself uh, in uh, 96. Yeah. After uh, having winning the European Championship in the 125 category in uh, 95, yeah. I, I won actually nine races of 11 rounds and uh, in that in that championship uh, I uh, also uh, Valentino Rossi competed mm. and uh, I won the championship and Valentino finished third in the championship. Oh, wow. He was very young, he just started so he made a couple of mistakes during the, the race meetings but he was already very very fast and uh, by the way after having winning the championship, the European championship, I said okay I want to go to, to the world championship and I want to go with my own team because uh, I would like to have also a team and I, because I would like to stay in the World Championship uh, for the rest of my life because I really love the, 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 the sport the sport and the, the life in the paddock. So I 
started uh, with a very, very limited amount of money. Yeah. Um, I asked uh, also my mechanic, one of my mechanic actually uh, borrow me some money <laughs> to, okay. to buy a bigger van because we needed a bigger van to go to the World Championship. Uh, back in 96, we made uh, the very first race we ship just only one crate with the Ooh. motorbike and all the spare parts and everything was inside of our all in our, one all in, in one crate for them now we are uh, shipping something like uh, 38 crates for you know? them. Yeah. <laughs> just for comparison folks that's that's the difference yeah 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 from 98 i was uh, sure to have uh, realized my ultimate dream which was uh, to be competitive in the world championship no, and uh, from 98, I was, uh, let's say, uh, having my best uh, ever period of my life because I really enjoy the fact that I could uh, reach my, my dream after so many sacrifices. You have yes. to do a certain set of things to become the ultimate performer after all. Yes, I agree. I think there is a lot of sacrifices that yeah. we don't even know about. We're not even aware about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Coming back on what you have just said about the initiative uh, of, of Castrol, yeah. Power One Ultimate, uh, with Motostar uh, com contest, we had an amazing, uh, we had an amazing um, uh, time together yesterday. They explained me the project, oh, wow. and this is something that uh, is incredible, incredible uh, for the opportunities that uh, Castrol Power One uh, Ultimate. Uh, Motostar contest can give to any any anyone, individual out there. Yes, anyone that cannot afford go racing. Yeah, and thanks to the help of uh, of Castrol and the support of uh, Rajini and uh, ultimately the support of LCR on the team, eventually can uh, can become something really big. The, a dream of uh, of anyone can uh, can be become a, a reality. Yeah, I wish that a lot of uh, guys will send the applications, yes. and then I wish uh, to meet them as well one day. To meet them and yeah. train the best uh, train in Europe, the best riders uh, selected by by Rajini and this uh, fantastic uh, racing academy. Oh, I love it. That will be yeah. that will be great. <laughs> We're going to continue on this, but first we are in Mumbai on the Bombay journey. We cannot not eat a vada pav. Let's uh, head out and uh, okay. grab some snacks. Yeah. Okay. Let's yeah. go. Thank you. Is it uh, a bun? Bread. Bread. They put some sauce. Two two sauces. Some, uh, uh, but I don't want spicy. Eh? No spicy for you. Zero. We need spicy. <laughs> Zero spice. Zero. Yeah. Very important to know that spice has nothing to no do with spicy. food racing. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. When you go Italy, really? you think See, pizza is always... India is different and Italy is different. Yeah. <laughs> no taste. For India pizza, very tasty. Yeah. 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 Italian pizza. From uh, South Italy is the best. Yeah, the best. Napolitana, Napolitana pizza. Ah, Napolitana, Margherita, yeah. Quattro Stagioni, Prosciutto. Uh, Are you missing home right now? <laughs> ah, lovely. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Are you saying Indian? Very good. Bot Kub. Bot Badia. 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 <laughs> How was that? What did you think about it? Very nice. Yeah. Very tasteful, simple, but uh, very filling. Filling, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that's why Mumbai moves on the Vada Pao. We love our Vada Pao. Yeah. I'll teach yeah. you more slang. Mumbai slang? Mumbai okay, slang. Okay, repeat, repeat after me. Rimtake. 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 Rajni, you can also say it. Yeah, Rimtake. <laughs> rimtake basically means just come very fast. Come very fast. Yeah, Rimtake very Aja. That, that is how the bikers speak and say rimta ke aja like you learned kekda kekda is how the bike moves from left to right like a crab okay literally a crab in hindi means kekda kekda yeah that's it rimta ke kekda rimta ke kekda 
That's good fun. We we basically do the Mumbai slang on the Bombay journey. So it yeah. is our tradition to have just taught you that. But what do you think of the city so far? It's a, uh, I mean, uh, it's uh, better than I expected. I expected uh, more traffic uh, yeah. and uh, less respect during the the driving. But uh, so far, I can see that uh, you know everyone has their own style, That's but true. they at the end they respect. Yeah, yeah, and this this I like. So there is no disrespect, uh, and this is uh, maybe a little bit noisy, too noisy because yeah. bah, 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 bah. <laughs> yes, for sure. If I'm not, yeah, yeah, but uh, it's a uh, it's a way to to warn people and say, hey, I'm here, you know. Yeah, yeah. Get out from my from yeah. from, uh, from my route. <laughs> That's true. It's it's nice. It's nice. Yeah, Rajni, what do you think about Mumbai? How do you like it? Yeah, I like it because of uh, see. Uh, There are uh, like a good uh, people uh, yeah. compared to other state. Okay, very friendly, free, and uh, you know people are also helping a lot. That's okay, true. maybe you go some auto to maybe a taxi. No, is helping yeah. uh, the route, everything. That's true. Uh, especially for the auto guy, the especially putting for the meter. <laughs> yeah. No, that genuinity is there in. Uh, in That's true Mumbai. in Mumbai. Yeah. It's I like the city. culture. I like the culture. Yeah. <laughs> Then uh, now Lucio is a rickshaw like, obsessed guy. I like the. He loves he loves the auto rickshaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah I right. I like the riding style. Everyone with the, without shoes and yeah. with the legs like this, you know. <laughs> This is a riding style, you know. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> more com- more comfortable. We should tell everyone. Everyone, look at this. Look Mumbai rickshaw wale ke. It's a riding style. Yeah. 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 Also this one. <laughs> <laughs> all three rickshaws all three rickshaws have a riding style this is in peace it's like this <laughs> we we put our leg underneath sab alti palti mar ke baithe bhai ek khali pair pe ek pair niche brake pe so he's got he's got he's got his foot he's got his other foot on the brake that's a good thing okay ah uh, but he has a he has a shoes but the other one no <laughs> Moving forward, we have a rapid fire segment. Yeah. So I would like to ask you all, which is your favorite track in the world? Favorite track in the world uh, for me is uh, Suzuka yeah. in Japan. Yeah. Have you ever riding in Suzuka? Yeah. Oh, it's nice fantastic. Ride, yeah. Super, super, track. super fantastic. Suzuka and the second Mugello. Uh. But uh, Suzuka is uh, the feeling that Suzuka is able to deliver to you ben. with uh, the. F- the first uh, corner with banking angle Oof. yeah you know and uh, the spoon curve also the hairpin curve and it's 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 simply amazing favorite track rajni yeah my favorite track in sapang yeah the malaysian track yeah oh really yeah <laughs> it's also nice track do you like uh, the paddock or being in uh, on in the bike which one if you had to pick one Ah, the racing life as a rider, it's uh, it's a super, it's yeah, fantastic, yeah, yeah. especially when uh, you are a, comp- you know, you you are able to be competitive to win races, you feel like uh, like a king, you know. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, it's really nice feeling. As a rider, it's uh, it's 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 a combination of a mixed feeling, yeah. pressure, adrenaline, excitement, and uh, yeah. ultimately happiness. Yeah, everything yeah. there. <laughs> What about you? Yeah, me or uh, same thing. Uh, almost, I I I love bike. Okay, in the race track, I love all this. Yes. Okay, I'm I want almost uh, most of the time in the riding the bikes, and uh, now uh, is a uh, is a uh, there are a lot of uh, commitment. No. Yes. Even I have racing team. Yeah. I need to mostly work with the riders and the team That's and true. the pits inside the pit. No, a lot of work is going. Yeah. But uh, the mostly the uh, that is a there are sick a lot of work there are a lot of things in the in the in the the race track no lovely yeah I like so I think uh, it's a it's a mix of both for you yes yes yeah. that's also fair I think yeah yeah, yeah. W- what about uh, the old times that you miss the most like you I know I see, I saw you doing the two stroke three cylinder ride oh. recently uh, I, so what I, do you miss the most the most I miss is uh, to Tune the two-stroke engines because yeah. uh, I grow up tuning two-stroke engines, and uh, while I was uh, racing, I was used to go with my mechanics, with my technicians, mm. uh, on the workshops, 
and uh, on the workshop and then uh, you know disassemble the engine and uh, maybe modify the cylinder port uh, mm. and then uh, go uh, modify the cylinder head uh, uh, increase the compression rate and then go to the dyno uh, <laughs> and test the engine you know yeah. and then when you get you know like even uh, 0.1 or power more you feel uh, happy and yes. then uh, yeah. you start to understand uh, you know the, the engine you know you start to understand how to make the engine faster and this is uh, something that uh, when you ride the bike uh, that you, you with your effort with your um, your uh, uh, let's say talent mechanics you make, yes uh, mechanic in talent you make yes. it faster and then you ride it it's really really nice feeling for me and this i miss most oh damn what about you what do you miss from the old times the most most almost i missing only uh, bikes yeah uh, because no uh, I want more ride, uh, more in the racing field. Okay, maybe I I'm not going. So like two weeks, I'm getting boring. <laughs> <laughs> I want when I want to go for again race track. So two weeks of a paddock, and then you will be back on the track. That's how yeah, yours life. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> but any any favorite bikes? Let's say say three favorite bikes. Of course, uh, on top of all, I would say the Honda RCV. Yeah. Uh, 2013. Second, uh, the Honda RCV five-cylinder RC, the 2011, uh, the 211. Okay. And then uh, straight forward to my Honda RS 125, which I won uh, the first World Grand Prix. Oh, in, wow. uh, Back in 98 in uh, Spain, in the Harama circuit. This was a fantastic bike as well. Lovely. But uh, yeah, those are my three favorite bikes. What about you? Yeah, I like uh, Yamaha R6. Uh, mostly nice. I start with riding the of Yamaha course. R6. Of course. Uh, and um, now the current uh, bike, uh, the Ducati is a very fastest bike and yes. uh, and uh, very competitive for the, the, especially for the stock bike. You can mm. go to race a very stock bike and very competitive in the the, all the way, the Elettra is very, very good. Uh, that's why I like the Ducati also. Oh, but my favorite bike, R6. R6? Yamaha R6, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But it is imperative that in the Ultimate Power 1 segment, the Rapid Fire, we talk about safety. And I think, uh, what, were you, what would be your safety tips for all the young bikers getting out there? Definitely, I would say that it's very important to develop uh, your uh, strengths. Yeah. Means uh, first you have to be very well in uh, your uh, res resistance. Mm -hmm. uh, resistance training is very important to on aerobic on uh, aerobic uh, way, but as well anaerobic means mm -hmm. uh, not heavy weight, but yeah. uh, you need uh, to build up muscle to control the bike and to uh, be able to handle the maximum uh, energy till the end of the race okay first this, this is the first safety tips second tips is um, to study and look many races as possible on a youtube channel or whenever wherever you can get uh, access you can uh, access watch the races yes it's very important to understand the riding style and to understand how the riders between them they are passing each other in order to not making stupid mistakes and also learn from other other mistakes so yeah. by watching eventually some rider who miss and mis, miscalculated an overtake and touch another rider and crash and both crash this is very important to to, to learn uh, on this and uh, last safety tips I think that is very important to not only train muscles to not only make um, physical you know, physical and also uh, watching races so means uh, a kind of uh, mental training yes it's very important to train your eye and your reflection so there are, this is something that uh, in my opinion not uh, is not taking in consideration enough and yeah. we are we want to promote uh, this way because uh, 
as you train your muscle, you should also train uh, your uh, reflection yes. and your uh, ability to increase your uh, uh, your uh, your uh, reaction your time, reaction time, and also your periphery peripheral view. Yeah, view. you know, and uh, you there are there are some uh, let's say exercises that is strongly recommended to improve not only in the physical side but also the the, the mental side and then the 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 view interesting i love that what about you rajni i think safety is very important for all indian bikers watching out there i think these are very important please go on yeah the the especially for the our uh, youngsters no yeah. uh, don't know what is the racing at all okay yes. the people are riding very mad in the road Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, without wearing the helmet and uh, even true. wearing the helmet, but not yet put the lock also. Correct. Okay. The especially you know the racing is totally different when you riding the road. You need more safety. You need. Yeah. Because uh, you don't know when is the people coming out uh, opposite. When is the coming the track? Okay. Lot of lot of things there. Okay. That's true. And the especially the for traffic. Okay. And the very worst traffic in those conditions. Yeah. You don't want to make a miss about every people to ride very fast. Okay, that's true. And especially, I can say, okay, people are uh, buying a helmet. Okay, can yeah. wear the helmet at least some uh, kind of invest some two or three to four thousand good helmet. Yeah, when you are wearing the helmet, yeah, that must need very tight and uh, lock also. No, okay. the people are just wearing the like a cap. Yeah, the helmet. Okay, yeah. that is not uh, save you. and the uh, second uh, for more youngsters you have uh, like uh, you want to racing there are uh, don't want to ride in the road okay yeah. there are a lot of things in uh, race track lot of people giving uh, for that lot of opportunity ride in uh, tvs giving lot of chance uh, like uh, cash style giving chance yeah. to ride okay you can you can find the way you want to race no you can find the way put the hard work you can find the way like very easy today you can just search in a google yeah. okay you can find the where you want to go race true and okay. who will support you yeah who will support you now okay yeah, yeah. that's why even now i can say like a casual supporting big uh, way to all the youngsters now okay? that's true for those who let us know in the comments what their safety tips were we'll get a signed pillow from the both legends that we have on the bombay journey with us today right and like like you said There are a lot of chances being given. So I I would reiterate. Castrol Power One presents India's ultimate moto star on MTV. Yeah. Is yeah. going to be in the description below. below. Anybody who's above eighteen has a license and a passion for motorcycling uh, or motorcycle racing should sign up. And instead of racing on our roads, they yeah. can race on the track and get trained by legends. Tell me this: Are there any superstitions that you all have uh, with uh, you know racing and? being on track uh, like you know uh, i know that uh, alex rins only wears the left glove first and then the right later yeah. you know things like that we i i, I had uh, i had also the the um, let's say my i was used to use uh, always the same socks oh wow because of course i keep washing <laughs> yes of course yeah. lucky socks <laughs> yeah yeah uh, what was lucky did you win the first one in them yeah Yeah, yeah. Oh, lovely. So since since then I use always the same socks. Then um, yeah, that's that's mainly my <clears throat> let's say act, uh, the obsession. The obsession I had is uh, yeah, called superstition. Yeah, yeah. yeah. lovely. Called, like superstition. Yeah. What about you, Rajni? Yeah, I always when you sitting the my race and my bike. I love the bike, and uh, when you are sitting, I just pray before I am going on right. the race track because no the you work very hard. You spending so much money, okay? Yeah, yeah. Even last lap, maybe the last corner you'll get crash. That's true. Okay, that is you need hundred percent luck. Also, you need yes that luck. You need to just pray before you going. Yeah. What are your uh, like chill time, downtime routines? What are you doing to chill and like relax, Lucio? Um, unfortunately, I have not so much time to chill and relax. <laughs> uh, I do sports. I keep uh, keep uh, doing some uh, some Football? fitness. No, no, no. Just uh, just running and going to the gym. I oh, really like. Okay. Uh, in, the, in the summer time, I swim a little bit. Amazing. But you know, when I have some uh, some free time, I like to 
to play in my garage, you know, oh, yeah. in my war, small, small garage, where I have all the tools which oh, I was, which I used when I was young. Lovely. And this is uh, such an amazing feeling for me to to be to be there and uh, using my my own tools and uh, repair anything I I get amazing. I get. So from on motorcycles to to anything you know that home appliances as well anything <laughs> you just take out you are you the one who will take the fridge out and then put it back again of course yeah. oh lovely of course <laughs> why not I the the now I'm I'm trying <laughs> I I'm trying to repair the dishwasher oh yeah <laughs> yeah but I <laughs> I didn't find the the, the way right <laughs> what about you Rajni how do you chill or relax. See the same thing. I also almost busy with uh, always on the team and uh, the racing team and my race, yeah. the academy self. Uh, whatever the free time, I'll watch a lot of videos and uh, racing videos. Amazing. And uh, nice. I can play uh, uh, badminton oh, sometime. Yeah? yeah. Amazing. Uh, the special is I I run a lot of uh, um, the morning. I'll do fitness. Maybe I like uh, running. Lot, wow. yeah. That is our uh, rotation every day when I'll get free. Good. How did you all like this? Yeah, very good. I like this. I love that. What do you think, Lucio? How did you like the interview? I really like it. Nice stories. I like it yeah. to to tell my story of uh, of uh, my first racing bike. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think very popular uh, after this video. Lucio, you know the you will get more follower. Yes, of course. <laughs> we love we love creating content. Lucio yeah. Cecchinello LCR. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> and do not forget. Castrol Power One presents India's ultimate motor star on MTV. Is in the link below. You can just go and uh, sign up, and then you have the possibility. Yeah, especially who want to race. Yes, who want enroll, to race. Yeah. Please enroll. Yeah. Guys, don't miss the opportunity. Opportunity. Yes. Yeah, because Castrol Power One supporting is a very big way yeah. to racing. Yeah. Thank you so much. For being on the Bombay journey, this is me, Siddharth Alamban, signing off. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Mashable India. Folks, uh, you have to answer the safety tips given by the two of them in the comments below to win a pillow signed by them. There you go. You can give us your autograph. Thank you so much. Yes. Pleasure, LC, uh, and then an art. <laughs> oh, lovely. Always yeah. here. Yeah. What are the two slang words you remember? Rimtake and kekra. Rimtake, kekra. Kekra, yeah. kekra is a crab. Yes, yes. Uh, Rimtake is a uh, fast, fast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. Look at that. Smile with this, folks. Okay.